It's a great to be here with you today in this track.、Uh, we all talk about a new observability database. We all know that there are three pillars of observability: trees, log, and metrics.、Uh, there have been a various databases focused on metrics. For example, InfluentDB, Prometheus.、Uh, for trees and log, we have other solutions.、Uh, for example, Elasticsearch and Loki. How to combine all of the three data models together to optimize all of them is a big issue for us. In this representation, I will focus on three days to talk about how to leverage RAM conjecture to design the data model and write and read the parse. I hope that this talk will contribute to the understanding of BiDB and towards the design decision of such a database. Okay, before we talk about uh, this uh, today's topic, let me briefly introduce myself.、Uh, I came from Tetrid. Tetrid is a standard company.、Uh, he provides uh, uh, practice and playbooks that enterprise can use to modernize their people and the processes by ESO and Envoy. Customers also can get observability empowered by Apache Skyworking. And I am one of the PMC members of this project. I'm also a PMC members in Apache Certain Sphere, which distributed the middleware of the database. So that's why I'm interested in the observability and the storage. Okay, this is our today's agenda.、Uh, we have four items in today's. Topic: The first one, we will give you some the features of a basic APM storage and then compare、uh, between them and、uh, show some pros and cons of this storage. The second part, we will introduce the scaling storage module. Scaling storage module、uh, can support a、uh, serialized、uh, database. Uh, I will explain why we support so many different choices for our customer and how to pick up、uh, one storage,、uh, which can give you the best performance for your scanner.、Uh, the third one is the core of today's topic. We、uh, I will introduce the RAM conjecture. That's the core of the BDB.、Uh, based on the RAM conjecture, we design different access method、uh, to BDB. The last part, I will give you some、uh, brief introduce of the BiDB, how it to the read and write date,、uh, what's the difference、uh, between BiDB and the other、uh, operations. The first part I have introduced. Okay, let's move on to the first part of today's topic. All right, let's talk about the features of APM storage. So first of all. Let's review the three pillars of observability. Observability require insight into metrics, traces, and logs. The three pillars we all know that an APM system is a monitoring and a security platform that combines of the three pillars of observability and more other data into this platform. The platform usually is a unified platform to enable full、uh, visibility across all of your tax stack.、Uh, this requires the APM system should monitoring metrics, traces, and logs in one unified place.、Uh, it will、uh, collect and visualize the metrics and set up alerts for potential issues, and show some insights into the performance and the health of your system. And the second,、uh, distributed tracing could optimize your application performance. The APM system could provide the end-to-end -end,、uh, visibility into real request and code. And the last one,、uh, could effectively debug, audit, and analyze logs from all your surveys, applications, and platforms at scale. So this is all. Of the three pillars of the observability, as I mentioned, that we usually use a unified platform to do all of the things, but we usually use a different storage platform to save and analyze the data. 
Uh, I will introduce some classic storage and show you how uh, this storage platform to deal with those data. Let's move the first one, the big table. A big table is a classic storage to deal with the uh, tracing date because the dapper, another classic paper uh, uh, to to uh, show some detail how to deal with uh, the tracing date. The dapper trace logging and the collection pipeline is a three stage process. Uh, the first span date is written to a local log of files. It is then put from all production horses by dapper demons and the collection infrastructure. And finally, if written into a cell in one several region dapper big table repositories. A trace is stored as a single big table row, and each column saves one span of each uh, trace. A big table support for the spare table layout is very useful here, since we can figure out how many spans of a single trace before all of them are collected. And thanks for big table as a column database, we can write a battery as spans into one single row because we can't estimate the number of spans in one single trace. Please remember right, this is a key feature for tracing system. Next one, uh, we should mention the logs. Uh, we usually use the Elasticsearch storage logs. Why uh, Elasticsearch or other a uh, searching engine is a good option uh, to deal with the logs. Elasticsearch is an open source distributed real time search backend. While Elasticsearch can make a lot of, um, a number of the analysis needs, it is best complemented with other analysis backends like Hadoop or MPP database. As a staging error, quota uh, for such complementary backends, AWS S3 is a great fit as an added banners. Uh, S3 serves as a highly durable achieving backend. Uh, in this uh, diagram, I show how uh, combine some of the uh, uh, components to deal with the log date. The first one, we use the agent to collect uh, Apache HTTP logs and uh, syslogs across all web services. The second one, the pipeline uh, securely shapes the collected logs into a aggregator uh, in FluentD in near real real time. Uh, so one we store the collected logs into Elasticsearch and S3. Uh, finally, uh, visualize the data with the Kamana in real time. Uh, you know that the Kamana will work very fine with the Elasticsearch. Analyzing, we also mentioned that I always uh, it's a focus on the keywords analyzing. Analyzing is a key feature to logs. The last one we have introduced is how to deal with the max, matrix. Uh, matrix is a time series date. What's the time series date? Time series date is a collection of the observation uh, obtained through the repeat measures over time. You can find the same characters of those date points inside one of the dimensions would always be the time. Time series state is a collection of those data points for a single entity at a different time intervals. Generally, uh, metrics are equally spaced, while other, for example, logs, trees are unequally spaced. We use the three uh, steps to deal with the uh, serialized, time serialized state. The first one, we should identify uh, what is the serialized? Usually, metrics are grouped by a serialized of the tags. Um, we use the different tags to, uh, to deal with this serialized. If a state was shot uh, by the serialized, we can effectively to uh, compromise all of the state based on uh, his characters and based on his times. Uh, finally, if we query the state uh, based on uh, his uh, serialized and uh, in a uh, particular uh, time range, we can uh, query this uh, serialized state uh, effectively uh, compared to other uh, read method. 
So temperature led state is good for the metrics writing, compromising, and reading. So it, it is a, a top uh, option for all of the metric state to, uh, uh, solutions. Finally, we will provide some principles of all the APM storage. Uh, from the functional of all the storage, uh, I summarize some key points and principles of a classic APM storage. The first, it should be um, capacity of the ingesting the high throughput date. And may have a load balancer to reroute all the incoming trace metric date and uh, distributed story engines throughout the them across a number of service nodes, even more distributed fuel system. The second layer, uh, the story system uh, could scale up uh, linearly, especially it through the scale at the wrong time. A tracing system or API system is the central of observability uh, architecture and effect varies monitor and uh, analyze system. And the amount of trace data varies in different time. Based on this requirement, uh, scalability is necessary for this kind of storage. Finally, because of the um, arbitrary uh, structure of uh, APM date, as I have told about earlier, uh, this storage should provide semi structure and the unstructured date. Except, uh, except for those classic characters and APM database, uh, the trace or log part should use less memory as possible. Because we read the metrics a lot, don't want to trace uh, writing and uh, impacts the performance of the metrics reading. And another one, we should build the index by time. Big table solution only support querying spans by trace ID. Um, but for a modern observability database, we should implement more criteria to few test points. For example, uh, by third times, by latency, uh, even some meaningful labels. And uh, sorting is another use case for index. Uh, sorting by third time or latency becomes more and more important in modern observability system. So that's all of the features of APM storage. We also know that we usually use different solutions for different uh, uh, metrics. And uh, the next part will show how scale working as a unified quota, a unified uh, platform uh, to deal with uh, the storage and how to select uh, the best of the storage from uh, his uh, solutions. In this part, we will introduce the scale working storage module. And uh, scale working has a plugin style just, uh, storage module to can support a number of uh, storage backend. So let's uh, dive into it. And uh, first of all, we should provide uh, the notion of the all of the things. The big table is too hard to operate. That's why we doesn't support any big table or big table styles storage, for example, the HBase, because we have to um, do a lot of things uh, to deal with the issues about the Hadoop and uh, our uh, distributed file system. It's a bigger issue for all of the APM systems, so we don't want to deal with it. Uh, we want to leave it to other people's. So I think the big table is not a good idea uh, for APM storage. So we we uh, uh, we as the scale working doesn't support any big table and the similar storage. So that's what we storage is the typical three type of the storage. Uh, MySQL is a traditional regional uh, database which can handle uh, structured data properly. And the Elasticsearch is our uh, uh, key uh, storage for now. It's a search and uh, analytics engine based on the Lucent search engine. Uh, even DB is a new type of the uh, database we support recently. Uh, it's a chemistry-less database which empowers developers to build to the LT uh, analytics and the monitoring software. Okay, we suppose uh, the three type of the storage. Uh, recently, we support other type of storage, but uh, as a whole, 
uh, we only support the three different types of service. The first one, the uh, regional database, the second one, uh, search engine, and the last one, the time series database. Uh, okay, let's talk about the pros and the cons about this uh, storage. The first one is MySQL and uh, other regional database. Um, uh, actually, they didn't uh, properate the tracing and the log scenario, but due to the popularity in the, the real world, we usually opt them as the testing and the daemon purpose. Uh, by leveraging some of the tools, we also can bring them on board. Uh, not only in the staging and the UAT, even on the production environment, we have some of the users uh, to use the skywalking uh, to work with the massacre in the real world. It's, it looks like, uh, it sounds like crazy, but uh, it's real world. Uh, some users actually use the massacre as a backend storage for skywalking. Okay, but we should mention that uh, the first issue we should be in hindsight is to increase the volume Mexico can guess and analyze. Uh, loosely speaking, is the data sharding. Uh, it's not the only way we increase the capacity of Mexico, but it's a more popular tool. A skill can keep with the shutting sphere. Uh, I mentioned that I'm the PMs members of Skywalking and the sphere, so uh, I make it that, that happen to uh, support as a uh, uh, sphere as a middleware between the network and the skywalking. So skywalking helps the sphere to uh, combine a number of the network uh, instance to fix the volume requirements of uh, tracing and the logging date. And the second is the network of the ecosystem and the community. It's a big advantage, I have to say that. Uh, there are various uh, DBA and the operators and the developers uh, who are familiar with the ecosystem. Uh, that's uh, another uh, big reason why we upload the Mexico and the other regional database. It's a big community, so we can uh, fix a number of the issues other uh, database engine usually faced, but in the, uh, uh, the more a uh, rooted uh, community is not a big issue. So, okay, next one uh, is our uh, MUN uh, storage to Elixirish. Uh, Elixirish has a distributed search out of the box uh, using the concept of the shards. A shard is a single loosest instance and is uh, managed by the Elixirish engine. Uh, there is two types of shards. Uh, namely, uh, primary shard and uh, replica shard. By default, a document is first indexed on the primary shard, and then on the replica shards. The number of the primary shards can be specified uh, to cover the expected volume. By default, uh, Elastor should create five shards for an index. Uh, for an index. Uh, but once the number of primary shards is decided, it cannot be changed. A replica shard is a copied the primary shard. Um, they are used to handle the fee lower and the increased performance. Uh, it is also possible to perform various analytics operations like time series analytics uh, using the time steps and the find the top one series by latency in cluster. Even Elastor's that does not provide a building support for analytics uh, tracing system or the API system like Skywalking uh, can benefit from uh, its first search capacity to also from its ability to handle the number of the data site. So that's why we use the Elite Search. Uh, it has a uh, capacity of the analyze the data, have a capacity to deal with the high volume of the data. And that's a two. A good point for our uh, requirement. Oh, the last one is a new type of the database. Uh, it's a temporary database. I use the inference DB uh, as an example to show you uh, how to use it. Uh, inference DB and the other temporary database have the perfect writing and reading patterns to handle observability data. The first, um, they have supposed more write than read. Uh, the most recent date is generated in real time 
it's not updated, so it's immutable. Uh, data is ready by time range, and the written date has a higher possibility to be read. Uh, the time series date have a large amount of data in the LTP scanner row. The number will be even larger. Uh, the data set may be measured by TB or PB. And the, the last one is the timeline the, the time series data base. Uh, the time series date is the time sensitive. Uh, TSDB uh, usually have the retention window. Uh, data beyond this retention window can be considered inactive and can be safely deleted. We also call this uh, data has a TTL uh, property. Uh, so that working called it, called it every date has a TTL. Uh, usually we keep one week or the seven days date usually, but usually can specify uh, a very large uh, range and a small range based on the requirement, based on the read write performance, based on the data volume. And, and that's because all data are uh, usually doesn't does not have the much value. Uh, so we have to save the storage cost by deleting the low value data. Because as uh, the time series are all new to us. We don't get enough support more than the official resource of uh, the official sources. A time series data tend to be paired with the metadata uh, that describes that date. Uh, uh, often that is the primary time series data and the metadata is indexed for the faster query performance so that you can quickly find the values that match the, all of the specific torques. The cardinality of a um, uh, time series data site is typically defined by the cross uh, production of the cardinality of each individual index of torques and fields. Uh, that's called inference DB to use a lot of the, its memory to store uh, the cardinality of the metadata. So that's the crash the whole servers. Uh, that, that's the uh, big cores of the, such a uh, storage. Okay, uh, I have introduced all of the three types of stories. They have some pros and several cons, but they can uh, work together to provide the Sky Working Unifying APMs platform to uh, handle the uh, tracing, logging, and the metrics. But uh, the other question leave, uh, leave to us uh, why we should uh, choose a, a number of the database? Uh, why uh, we use a unified database of the story solution to support all of the uh, metrics. Before we introduce the BDP, BDP is still on to uh, support such a scenario. Role. I wish a, I want to introduce the RAM conjecture it will explain uh, why we build BDP. Okay, let's introduce the RAM conjecture. Uh, once we mentioned this conjecture, the first term we should talk about is the date access method. Date access refers to the ability of access and retrieve date stored with in a storage system. Usually, a storage system is done based on a user case and then choose that by carefully deciding the memory and the storage requirement. Are defining well structure access and retrieval pattern, designing this structure, and etc. This decision defines the possible ways that sorry engine can read and update the data in this system. The dream conjecture uh, states that we can now design an access method for storage system that is optimal in all of the following three aspects. Reads, update, and memory. Uh, memory is also means the main memory and uh, the external memory. External memory is equals to the disk. Uh, the conjecture indicates that we always have to treat one to make the other two optimal, and this makes the three always hand a competing triangle. It is very similar to the famous cap. Uh, seriously, so you can use the uh, uh, system available and the partition. So you can choose uh, two of of the three. It's a classic 
uh, uh, series in you know, our tech world. So we have a lot of the three uh, triangle uh, series. And the RAM conjecture is uh, one of the, the. Okay, let's talk about the uh, uh, three optimal. Uh, the read optimized storage system often very low read overhead, but requires some extra additional space to gain necessary for performance. And the extra data also impacts the performance of update. Because once the master is updated, we have to write the extra data to optimize the read. The fine example of a read optimized storage system is one that supports a point index, also called the hard space index, uh, offering the custom uh, time access. The system that provides uh, uh, time access like the B trace and the scap list. Uh, update the opt uh, optimized system uh, of the very low update overhead by usually using an external space holding different date, uh, usually the delta date, and flushing them over main date in a bulk operation. A few examples of update optimized system are LSM tree and the partition B tree and FD tree. This structure often very good performance for our update highway system that suffer from an increased read and space overhead. Well, our reading data from LSM tree, the engine needed to perform the read on all the tiers and then perform a the, uh, uh, conflicted resolution. And uh, maintaining the tiers of the data itself is a very huge space overhead. Memory optimized storage system are designed to minimize the additional memory requirement for access and update on the mandate. To be memory uh, optimized system, usually use compress the mandate and additional storage. Few examples of memory optimized system are uh, loosely indexed structure like a uh, blue filter, uh, tantamine sketchers, uh, loose encoding, and spare indexes. Uh, keeping either man or additional data comprised uh, to be memory efficient. The system will have better effect on write and read, and the compression and the decompression add to the update and read overheads. An uh, ideal solution is an uh, access method that always provides the lowest read cost. The lowest update cost and requires no extra memory and storage space over the base date. Uh, in, practical, uh, in practice, the data structure are designed to comprise between the three RAM overhead. Well, the optimal design depends on the several factors such as the hardware, uh, workload, and the user expectation. Uh, we propose a RAM conjecture like this. When designing access method, we set an up bound for two of the RAM overhands. That implies a hard lower bound for the third overhand, uh, which cannot be further reduced. The RAM conjecture opens the path for existing research challenge towards the goal of creating RAM adaptive access method. Tending access method becomes increasingly important. If on top of big data and hardware, the founder of RAM conjecture considering, uh, consider uh, the development of special system and tools to capture data, aiming at serving a narrow set of application each. That was the uh, inspired me to build a new database, BDB, uh, to serve another narrow side trees, uh, metrics, and logs, and other observability data. So, we should find the, the key character of the state, and what's the exact method of a trace and a new log date? I summarize it to a sentence trace, maybe logs, I read many, narrow read. Never sound to exaggerate, but let's think about how we deal with the chase state. Uh, we don't intend to represent them to the main monitor screen and wheel them from time to time. When something goes wrong, we want to use the trace and the logs for debugging and uh, uh, that way delve into some the 
呃这呃 ，tabulate the, the trigger 啊、uh, informations. The same thing goes wrong when you trace the logs for debugging instead of retrieving all data from storage. Ah,、uh, we could like to fit in a small set of base data. That means、uh, most of the data will be ignored and rarely be used. Ah,、uh, you never uh, is uh, not uh, a good uh, a word for here. Ah,、uh, the rarely、uh, is a better one, I think. Right, but I think the never is also is a, a boom. Ah,、uh, keyword to all of them to know that we use a different access method for PHDB. So we introduce the whole uh RAM constructor was so uh how uh PHDB used the RAM constructor to build its itself access method. Uh, the last part we will give a, a glance of the PHDB. Right, like、um, goes into the last part of this representation as the core of the all of the today's topic is the gas of the DDB. Okay, why we call this DDB? I read a Twitter, uh, to generate explaining why we call it Baya, and because I like its growth of style of Baya tree. Actually, as usually, we found that the south of China and India,、uh, the tree's branches goes on. Then new roots go grow out from the branches and down to the roots and support the additional the growth. This implies that our database is from a single point to the grow up to a multi-modal platform. And furthermore, we have a database have a great vitality as the bare tree are getting stronger. So I hope the bear tree as the project name, uh, to represent the two feature of the tree. I、uh, in this representation, I have talked about how we want to support the three pillars of the APM, uh, date, uh, the metrics, two logs, and the tree traces. So the bear DB will support both of them at the same time. Uh, we don't.、Need Have to use a different database for different、uh, date. Ah,、uh, we use a unified storage platform to handle all of this database. Ah,、uh, furthermore, uh, from the uh, APM uh, uh, APM areas, uh, uh, emerged the more and more data types. Ah,、uh, for example, new data types uh, as event and uh, the other IoT database. Uh, uh, bring our、uh, two many types of、uh, the metric data. Uh, I uh, hope that the BDB will、uh, include all of the new、uh, data type into his、uh, branches, and uh, from the branches and、uh, grow to the new root. From the new root, he brings new branches. So、uh, the BDB become a bigger, more and more. But uh, uh, from the outside, uh, we can view. It has a big unified platform to deal with all of the、uh, database. So、uh, the goals of the BDB, we can have some、uh, following targets.、Uh, the first one is、uh, multi models. I have a plan it a lot of times. It、uh, should support the log trace and metrics at the same times. So we don't have to use the different traces. We have. Don't uh do some uh, uh balance between different uh stories. For example, scaling currently uses uh Elasticsearch to deal with the logs and the metrics. But for metrics, uh, uh Elasticsearch doesn't have many optimize uh to uh uh comprise uh to uh improve the uh query timing uh query latency. So. Um, it is not a very deal ideal for a scaling to store his metrics into scaling as、uh, into Elasticsearch.、Um, so there's another more, um, uh, there, there's another better option. For example, even DB, but、uh, for even DB, um, it's not good to deal with the logs and the traces because the、uh, data volume is so huge. They can, but so, uh, that's um. Uh, that that this big set of the data into his uh, uh storage engine, so that 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 that, that crazy, ah,、uh, in the prior、uh, production environment, we introduced the infinite DB as the main 
uh, APM storage. So BuddyB can work uh, at the production level to support a log trace and metrics, both uh, support his uh, huge volumes and uh, give some best uh, optimized method to those uh, data. Uh, the second uh, we show that we have introduced a number of the optimized uh, method. Uh, so uh, that's the optimized all based on the RAM conjecture. Uh, uh, the next part we will uh, introduce why or what we will uh, uh, introduce in this debate. Before we uh, start the optimized method of the band DB, we, we, we would like to introduce the, how we uh, structure the data into the BIDB. Uh, we have the hierarchy structures of the BIDB. So on the side of the database, we call uh, a logic database itself. Uh, everything belong to the BIDB ecosystem uh, will belong to a, a database a conceptor. In the database, uh, the first level object, uh, object is a group. Uh, the group is not only a logic object, uh, but uh, physical resources, uh, because each group uh, have uh, uh, the full features, the KV uh, storage engine, they have the WAL logging system, they have the memory table, they have uh, mutual tariffs, uh, disk table. So. If you have uh, too many groups, uh, we will, uh, you will use a lot of space to uh, uh, handle your uh, uh, handle your runtime date. So you must uh, uh, be careful to like assign uh, what kind of how many groups there will be. In the group, we have um, a top secret of all of the APM conception. Uh, it's uh, something like the stream and uh, measure and uh, property uh, stream uh, represents the logs and the trees. We think that stream will represent a uh, 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 type of the APM uh, status uh, date. Uh, so we use a union conceptual uh, donation for all of the uh, data have the uh, streaming side as uh, stream style date. And the property is another word. Uh, the property will save some the metadata of the uh, APM system want to save. Uh, in Skyworking, we store the UI template uh, configurations into the property. The property is a key value, a sorry engine. Um, it provides uh, the strong uh consistency to out of all of the database nodes um besides that we define uh, the index and the index rebounding that's uh, represent a way can map uh different index rule to different uh, resources uh, that's a flexible uh strategy for uh for DB to set uh, uh, complex um, uh, rules for the how we index the uh, streaming and the measure. That's all of the uh, structure of the BiDB. Based on the RAM conjecture, we have some optimizing. Uh, the first one uh, for the memory, we introduce the compression, especially for the metrics, we introduce the uh, gorilla. Uh, encoding method to compromise the time serialized state. Uh, furthermore, we introduce the uh, normal compromising uh, method for the streaming, uh, for the measure, uh, for the other uh, uh, working resources of the BRDB. Uh, secondly, we uh, improvement the write. Um, we introduce the RS tree and the skip list. So based on the RAM conjecture, we optimize memory and write. At the same time, we reduce the, the read overhead of the BDB. Uh, for example, in a common uh, tree uh, story engine, uh, just like the HBase, all of the spawn uh, will store uh, in a single row in different cells. So uh, when you have a trace ID, you can uh, query uh, all of the spans of trees at the same place. But for BIDB, uh, we have the index to reference all of the spans 
uh, that means that if you uh, query spans by trace ID, the trace ID uh, will tell you the every location of the spans. So you uh, must uh, uh, to retrieve the uh, really uh, the span data based on those locations. So we will do more works uh, than traditional uh, trace storage, but uh, we can improve and trace memory usage and uh, right overhand. So that that, that trade off. So we uh, based on that uh, the trace and the logs uh write a lot but uh, never read based on that uh, we use uh, this strategy this access method to build the BIDB. so that that's the king of the BIDB. and that's part of way um at the metric is also the measure area we uh, introduced the classic uh, time serialized database we uh, split the Date based on his serialized, the serialized is defined by the serialized tux, uh, by his value. Uh, we also separated the tux from the fields. What's the tux field? As a conceptual is similar uh, in the uh, InfinityDB, tux only contains some uh, a battery uh, fields, uh, a battery properties of uh, a stream on the measure. Um, a field contains uh, some value. Um, it's uh, only exists uh, in the measure, so we can uh, use the field to uh, introduce some encoding methods that are like the uh, gorilla uh, optimized to comprise uh, our encoding all of the uh, few values. So we separate these two kind of data to uh, save them to different places to use different method, different optimize the algorithm. Uh, to get a uh, better memory usage.